So just talk to us about the significance of her um, telling us herself and very in casual wear, sitting outside, clearly in the garden. I mean, it's um, it's a very it, it's a beautiful, simple, mm. and hum humbling mm. um, two minutes of remarks. Absolutely, but I thought it was incredibly courageous to do that, to actually face the public in that way. I think after all this speculation online, some of it incredibly fanciful, I think that she was right to address it personally so people could actually look at her and see her, that she, as she said, I am well, I am being treated, and also to be able to raise awareness to other cancer sufferers. I think it was a tremendously brave thing to do, and I think she delivered it with aplomb, and uh, it shows the steely side of... Um, of, of the princess that Victoria was talking about. Everyone talks about her being a, a gentle mother of three, that she's a, such a, a kind person, but she, and she's all of those things, but she's also got a great engine in her. She's somebody that just keeps going. She's very determined, she's very hard working, and I'm sure, actually, that she will be back because she has the, the positive mental attitude, really, when it comes to these things. We know that she's been out trying to sort of keep going out walking, keeping fit, but I think what was important here is that she was putting her family first and saying, look, there's been a, basically, I've got to deal with this. I want my privacy and I need to be spending some time with my children and my husband away from the public eye. And I think that will certainly be respected in this country. I feel also for Prince William, the Prince of Wales at this time, not only his father is being treated for cancer, now his wife. A lot, of, a lot of responsibility is going to be on his shoulders, the heir to the throne, and a lot of responsibility as a dad too, dealing with his three kids. So, you know, my heart goes out to him, and this is, you know, I've covered the royals for about 30 odd years now, and I mean, I think we had that, that thing called the Anna Cerebellus that the late Queen Elizabeth talked about. Well, this is right up there in terms of a terrible year of 2024, the diagnosis of, of the king, and now with Catherine, the star of, of the royal family. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this.